does that mean that Canadians are still welcome or? <laughs> um, well, I don't know because uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I scared half of Evergrey away. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time in the channel, hit subscribe right now. Reed, thank you so much for your time today. I know it's a uh, hectic days as you're getting ready to, to go on tour. So I appreciate you taking a few minutes to answer some of my questions. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. Always happy to be on Belgian Jasper's YouTube channel. So uh, uh, yep, feel, feeling pretty good. Yeah, feeling pretty good and uh, super excited for the next three and a half weeks. I bet. I bet. So you're going to kick off a tour with Seven Kingdoms in Texas. And here I am thinking that Canadians only go to like the southern U.S. states in the winter time. But you're like, you know, when it's the hottest possible in Texas, that's when I'm going to Texas. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was the first thing that came across our minds. We said, "When would it be the most uncomfortable to go down to Texas?" And we we decided on this state. So we're uh, yeah, we're excited. It's going to be like forty degrees Celsius, I believe, when we're there. So we've brought uh, some extra towels and some some extra underwear for all the swaths. So we're feeling pretty good. There you go. You know that 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 used underwear. You can just sell that at the merch booth and the next show. You know, like I I don't think I'm that. Uh, I don't think I'm that. Uh, that well known yet there Jasper but the, mo the moment that it does happen I'll let you know there you go there you go so you guys just played a couple of festivals so you've you've, you've got um, the new set down I'm sure but uh, let's first just focus on, on on some of the festivals that you just did how did that go uh, you played some overseas shows uh, uh, that must have been a fun experience yeah, yeah. So the the two most recent ones we did is we, we just did one uh, last weekend uh, in our own province of Alberta, which is called Lattice Hell, which over the last 11 years, I believe, it's been growing. And uh, a gentleman named Jeff Horry, who puts that on and um, really, really awesome, great for the community, great for the for the southern half of the province. And um, it was real, real good, real good time. Always a blast. Always happy to be a part of it. And uh, and then we did one uh, at 70,000 tons of metal earlier this year, which was really awesome. And uh, just an un unforgettable experience and really happy we got to represent Canada and be a part of it. Yeah, so um, maybe just let's double check there because I have not spoken to a band that has played 70,000 tons that didn't have a ridiculous amount of terrible stories so when you say we represented canada does that mean that canadians are still welcome or <laughs> um well i don't know because uh <laughs> i'm pretty sure i scared half of evergrey away from uh from, from our band i think uh, the last night there i me and bobby probably scared uh half the half of evergrey away but uh, other than that um yeah you know honestly i think uh all the fun aside, like all the the good, the good laughs and the good parties and the getting to meet people from around the world. I think um, from our perspective, just to see so many great professionals and yeah. great, yeah, great, great performers of their own crafts and their own genres, and it's just such a great learning experience. So it was, uh, yeah, it was the most, yeah, it was it was priceless. It was it was a fantastic time. On those festivals, I mean, 70,000 tons is, is an interesting one because you get to play multiple times on the same festival, but, um, and that maybe gives you some room to, 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 you know, be creative. And generally speaking, you know, festivals, and also when you're opening for, for a band like you're going to be doing on tour now, you're not allowed to play for three hours straight. Uh, they tend to be shorter sets. Um, what for this tour what should we expect because uh, people have been following the band know that the last album is very well received the album before that which got a deluxe edition not too long ago also was well received like you're gonna have limited time what uh, what what can we expect yeah so um, I guess from from our eyes like our even though the deluxe uh, Kingsbane deluxe came out um, before momentous that record really came out you know 
in our eyes, like back in 2017 or whatever it was. So you're going to see mostly just music for Momentous, a little bit of stuff from Foundations, and then uh, we might throw in the odd song from Kingsbane, but we're really here trying to promote our, our latest effort. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's no matter how long we have, we're giving it 110% and we're leaving it all out there on the stage. So it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be a good time. Uh, you know, the album's out now for almost a year. In November, it'll be a year. Um, yeah. When you release an album that's so well received, um, does that, um, does that inspire you straight away? And are you already working on a ton of new material? Or is that like, wow, that's now a ton of pressure to do better than what a lot of people thought was really good. And uh, let's focus on touring and let's, let's, let's leave that, you know, a little bit in the, in the future. Like what's the mentality of the band? Yeah, I think, um, I think the band views it as like, we're just getting started now. Like it's yeah. kind of like, like I don't, I don't think there's any pressure. I think it's more like, okay, how do we one up this one now? Because it's it's exciting um, from a uh, from a songwriting perspective, and then um, from from being inspired. Um, you know, Bobby said it best. I was chatting with him uh, the other day, and then he said, you know, I get inspired when I'm playing shows and I'm on the road and I'm doing that. And I said, well, there's no better time than now. You know, like we're gonna be pretty busy over the next six months. We've got a bunch of stuff that hasn't been announced. Uh, that's still in the works um, for next year, and um, so we're we're already busy writing the next record. We have tons of ideas, tons of demos starting to, to kind of come to the surface. And uh, from what I've heard, and and what the guys have brought to the table, and what I've brought to the table, I mean, it's I'm feeling very confident and and really excited about the next effort because uh, it's going to just be another step up from Momentous, which I mean, for for all accounts. Hopefully that uh, that leads to more success and more opportunities. Now on Momentous, you had some you had some guests joining as well. Um, not 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 uh, the least people as well in Metal World. Um, are we gonna see on the road uh, people from other bands stepping in as well? Um, as of right now. Uh, not, not to my knowledge, but you never know how things shape up on the road, and you never know, um, you know, the friendships that develop and, and mm -hmm. the camaraderie. So, um, I know me as a vocalist, um, and my job in the band, I'd be completely open to something like that if uh, the opportunity arose and it, it made sense. But as of right now, it's just us, and, and we're just going out there trying to fly the the Canadian flag and and, and show our stuff and kind of make our mark. So we're yeah, as as far as I know right now, it's just us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, I mean, you know, hey, if you want to build friendships with the Seven Kingdoms guys and, and lady and guys, just give them cheeseburgers. Give them lots of cheeseburgers. That's what I've, <laughs> that's what I've gathered. Uh, everything I've seen, I'm like, holy crap, like, there's a lot of cheeseburgers going on here. I'm like, what's going on here? Like, I, so I'm, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just kind of bring a peace offering the first show to show up with a whole whole tray of burgers and be like, hey, you guys want to be friends or what's what's the deal? There you go. There you go. As you're pushing and like, and it's great that you guys get to tour throughout the States. Um, for you, um, you know, you've been doing this for a, for a while. Something that we've seen in Canada is that, you know, there's a massive amount of talent in Canada. There's no denying that there's great bands all over. And Canada is a massive country and it's really hard for a band to tour Canada. Like most people don't get outside of Canada, but, but often not even outside their own province or region within a province. For you, like what's been that, because I know that you guys are aching to, to go, not just in the States, but Europe and everything. Um, what been, what has that been a frustration that like it's, just from a geographical perspective, it's not easy as a Canadian band to get your music out there? Yeah, I mean, we've always felt, like, first and foremost, like, I agree, like, the, our country is quite vast, and, um, you know, the gauntlet through the prairies, getting in through Ontario and getting to kind of, like, the more densely urban populated areas is, is definitely a grind. Um, you know, we've toured like kind of from Vancouver to Winnipeg. So like we've done Western Canada and all the major spots in Western Canada. 
uh, minus S Saskatchewan. We, we've, we haven't done that yet. Um, but we're hopefully going to be doing that soon. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'd say we've always kind of felt like our sound catered more to Europe anyway, or, or right. catered more to other markets. So there's never a frustration, I should, like, I should kind of put it, because it was more like our goal isn't necessarily to just tour Canada or not necessarily to go coast to coast. Um, though as a proud Canuck and, and a proud Patriot, I, that is just a, as important to me as it is to touring the rest of the world. Um, like I've been telling everyone that my, my favorite thing I'm looking forward to is going to Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal and Quebec. And everyone's like, why? Like, why, why are you I'm like, cause man, I'm like, that's, that's my, those are my, my, my fellow Canadians. Like I'm, you know, yeah. we've got people and, and, and fans and friends out there and we want to show our stuff out there too. So yeah, it's, I'm, I'm person enough frustrated about it. I don't think the band is frustrated. I think we're just kind of like, you know, how do we get our music out there to where we think our music belongs or where we think it's received a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll, we'll, no matter where we go, we're busting down the door and we're, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're laying our claim on, on wherever we end up. So we're, we're excited for every opportunity. Reed, I promised you I wouldn't keep you too long. I know it's busy days. Thank you so much for just you know taking a, a short break uh, in the preparations. And I'm excited to follow along from a distance uh, the tour that's happening. And I can't wait to see you guys play up here um, with uh, Seven Kingdoms. Thanks so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Jasper. Always a pleasure, and uh, good luck with the rest of the channel. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it, and subscribe to the channel.